I'll just read, no? Hyper Laptops Incorporated place or plans plans to manufacture a new line of laptop computers. Management is trying to decide to whether to purchase the LCD screen from the laptops from an outside or outsourced supplier or to manufacture it in-house. Now, the screens cost $100 each from the outside supplier. Okay? To set the assembly process required to produce the screens in-house, it would cost around $100,000. The company could then produce each for $75. The number of notebooks that eventually will be produced is Q, is unknown at this point. Now, for this uh, problem, we are going to look at the parameters and also the objective function, okay? But the main question here is that whether to manufacture, manufacture in-house or we do it or uh, we outsource or buy it somewhere else, okay? For this problem, we have to uh, un underline or uh, determine the, the variables. Now, variable number one. It will cost $100 each for an outside supplier. $100 each is manufacturing cost for outside supplier. Okay, if you are to produce using your own facility, okay, to set up, you will be needing $100,000 to set up. Okay, that this will be your fixed cost. Okay, this will be your fixed cost. And this one will be your what? Manufacturing, uh, manufa uh, purchase cost, okay, or man or will cost you to buy from an outside supplier from an outside supplier. Then you have your fifteen or seventy five dollars, okay. Seventy five dollars will be the cost if you are to manufacture your screens or laptop screens or laptop screens, but you have to shell out first a fixed cost of $100,000. So we are going to find out Q. So the variables are $100,000 uh, or $1,000 or $100 for each laptop outside supplier and then $100,000 fixed cost and then $75 it will cost for you to buy or to make the netbooks by yourself. Okay. Now, we must answer this question. Now, or... Um, fulfill or the requirement of the item. Now, set up a spreadsheet that will display the total cost of both options for any value of Q. Use the trial and error with the spreadsheet to determine the range of the production volumes for each alternatives or which one will be the best. Okay? So, with that, we go to our Excel sheet. Okay? We had set, we had, we had set up the Excel sheet with the two columns. Two columns is either you purchase and also uh, purchase to uh, to other company or other organization and a column for whether you manufacture it in-house. So if you are to purchase, okay, you will not incur any fixed cost. Why? Because you are transferring the manufacturing to the other organization. What you'll have is a unit cost. Unit cost will be 100 dollars each. Now, how do we determine the total cost? Now, the total cost for this one, and do not forget to, uh, for, for any uh, Excel sheet that you're going to um, work on, you have to put on what? You have to put on range name. Okay. So, range name for B2 is purchase fixed cost. Which is purchase fixed cost. What would be the cost if you are to uh, purchase a product which is which is eventually zero because you are going to purchase and then unit cost what will it cost you to buy the product okay so the total cost will be total cost will be the purchase cost or purchase fixed cost purchase fixed cost plus what the unit or purchase unit cost 
times the quantity. So quantity is assigned because you have already assigned this cell to be the quantity. So this is will this will be letter Q. Okay. Same as what you did in the purchase in the purchase uh, column. What you will do is that you put an equal sign, and then you are going to uh, enter manufacturer fixed cost plus. Your manufacturer unit cost times the quantity. Okay, for this one, we have set up the model, ah, class. We have set up the model. Now, okay, this cell will determine the total cost because this cell will represent the quantity. So, what if we put here an imaginary number of 1,000? Okay, you can see here if at 1,000, at the rate of production, or the quantity of 1,000, okay, if you purchase their total cost, it will be just $100,000. Okay, but if you choose to manufacture, you'll get around $175,000. Okay, so this is how you set up your model. Okay, at this point, you don't know because as the question uh, suggested, you know, use trial and error. So you don't know if what would be the what will be the exact, okay, or the exact uh, break-even point? Okay, so we're done. Okay, let's now go with the other question. The other question here is that use a graphical procedure to determine a break-even point. The quantity, so break-even point uh, is total cost will be uh, at least or at or, or equal to total revenue. To determine the range of Q for which each source is cheapest, graph the total cost. Q is shown that the total cost line is cross is 4,000. Okay, but uh, it is given here. But uh, we want to show the solution using graphical method. So what do we do? So we go to your Excel worksheet. So in this column, we have to copy this one. Okay, so you have your column for purchase and you have your column for manufacturing. So you have, you have to make a column for quantity. Okay, so we can use the increment of 500. So it's up to you. Okay, so we put zero here and then instead of, of uh, or just like what you did here in the total cost uh, cell, just have to input what manufacturer cost or manufacturer fix co or uh, purchase fixed cost okay plus purchase okay purchase unit cost okay times quantity at the left so the quantity at the left is zero Okay, so that will be zero. Okay, for manufacturers, so let's try to zero out here. Okay, for manufacturing in-house, for the column for manufacturing in-house, what you will do is that you put an equal sign, okay, equal sign, and then you input manufacturer fixed cost plus what? Manufacturer Factor unit cost times quantity. So instead of uh, using quantity or our cell C6, you are going to cell A10 for the equivalent quantity. So 100,000. So what, what I want you to do now is you select A11. So you select A11. So this will be, so let's say an increment of 500. Okay, so increment of 500, the easiest way is that you put 1,000 here and then you select 500 and 1,000 and then you slide or scroll down. Okay, so again, what you will do now is here is that uh, you actually have to apply. Now, you just have to click. Okay, click the edge of your cell and it will uh, show or populate your Excel, 
Excel's uh, uh, column. Okay? For manufacturing in-house costs, you just have to drag this one. Okay. So at initial look, okay, you will see here that at 4,000 quantity, okay, 4,000 quantity, purchase costs and manufacturing in-house will be exactly the same. So this is the, the break-even point. But if you want to do a chart, which is uh, advisable, okay, for you to uh, show your graphical answers, what you will do now is that you highlight from A9, which is the, the title of the cell, up to D23. Okay, and then insert. So you go to insert. Okay, so you choose a graph. Okay. So here, how do we, okay, how do we know or how do we edit this graph? Okay, first, you want to go to your, what? So you have to go to your select data tab. Okay, in your select data tab, you can just uh, uncheck those uh, uh, things that you don't want to see here. Okay, so we need to have the value of quantity at the bottom or the y-axis or the x-axis. So what we do now is we go again with your um, select data tab. And then you go to the, this is the legend for, for the y-axis and this one is for the horizontal or the x-axis. Just go to edit, okay, and then you just have to select the cell, okay, that you want to highlight. And then click OK. So, and then if you click OK, and then voila, this is your graphical representation. So now we can see here, if you hover your cursor to the part of 4,000 or 4,000 units, it will say that this intersection will give you 400,000 value. Okay, you can, change the, you can change the title here. Make or... Or by decision. Okay. So that is how you determine. So that is how you determine or make a graphical representation of your um, uh, make or by decision. Okay. And then we're done.